Hello and welcome to the Midday News. I am Oguchi Oribo. We start the Midday News with this story coming from the Code of Conduct Tribunal where Senate President Bukola Saraki has been cleared of corruption charges. Saraki had been standing trial over false assets declaration and last month filed a no-case submission on the amended 18-count charge by the government. The two-man panel ruled that the evidence against Saraki was not substantial to continue with the case. Four prosecution witnesses were called and 48 exhibits tended. But the tribunal said the prosecution couldn't prove its case, adding that the witness evidence were fraught with incoherence of facts. It also ruled that the prosecution couldn't prove a prima facie case against the Senate president and failed to link the defendant with the crimes. A correspondent from SCN is joining us now via phone to talk more about this. Uh, thanks for joining us, Sifon. Can you give us more updates on how this really happened today? Uh, well, the, uh, starting from the ambience in the, at the premises of the Code of Conduct Tribunal, it was the void of its characteristic razzmatazz, uh, known for to be the order of the day when the Senate president is in court for his trial. So many people suspect that something was amiss. Then the case started, and the chairman of the tribunal, uh, Daladi Umar, sat and he was quick to address the issue, went straight to the point to indicate that against all odds, in spite of all the efforts of the prosecution, he could not link the uh, Senate President Bukola Saraki with the offense for which he was being charged. And for that reason, the tribunal has to discharge and acquit the Senate President of all the charges, 18 count charge. Uh, quite quite unbelievable for, for many Nigerians. And as usual, the Senate is always shut down when he has to appear. Tell us about the senators or leaders who are able to go with him today for this hearing. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, a good number of the supporters were not around. You know, it, the case had actually been reserved, meaning that the previous uh, hearing of the case did not indicate a date when the ruling would come. So the ruling, the date was communicated in short notice. So apparently his supporters were uh, not in the know or in the picture that the um, ruling would take place today. And that is why the premise, premises was devoid of the razzmatazz which the Senate President brings to the tribunal each time he appears. It was just like every other day but it was celebration for him and a handful of his supporters who were on hand. For, for, for many Nigerians, they looked forward to this case. They looked forward to the judgment. They, they wanted to have a little bit of faith in our judicial system. Does this cast a doubt on the whole war against corruption? What are the people saying out there? Did you speak to some people? What did they say about this and the anti-corruption war? Um, it's difficult to say if it cast uh, or it's going to cast a doubt on the entire campaign against corruption. But what in the ruling, what the court has made clear is that the prosecution did not do exactly what it would have done to have proven its case. The court even went as, or the tribunal, I beg your pardon, even went as far as giving instances or citing approach which it believed the prosecution would have adopted and which would have made this case better than it did, but the prosecution failed to uh, exercise due diligence in driving its case. So based on the fact or the inability of the prosecution to drive home its case, the tribunal had no other choice or alternative than to dismiss and discharge the defendant. Absolutely. We've always seen cases like this where the, the prosecution uh, seemed not prepared. What, what did they really say, the prosecution, I mean? Well, the prosecution, uh, we spoke with the prosecution lawyer at the end of the day. He says um, they will study the decision of the tribunal and, the, and decide which way to go. But, you know, before the tribunal, while the uh, decision or the ruling was being read, it became evident that the prosecution case actually fell flat because it was lacking in proof. You know, they could hardly prove that the defendant actually committed the offense. So that on that strength or on the failure 
to achieve that strength, the tribunal has to decide in favor of the Senate president. So what does this mean going forward? Um, the Senate president is free like a bird. We're done with the case. Uh, well, he's free like a bird to hop from one tree to the other. That's what it means, um, except um, the federal government decides to go further by instituting another case against them. Thank you so much for your time, C4 and on the broadcast. We appreciate it.